What is going on guys, my name is Unlimited Cop, and in this video we're going to be talking about the untold secrets of sneaker botting in 2020. So you guys want to get started sneaker botting in 2020, here's some things you guys should know before you get started. So before we get straight into this video guys, I do want to apologize, I know I haven't uploaded in about two weeks, I've been really busy working on some new projects, I'll let you guys know that very soon. Also as always guys, if I help you guys out in any way in this video, please be sure to hit that like button down below and hit that subscribe button for more content. So without any further ado guys, let's just hop right into the video. So the first thing you guys should know before you get started sneaker botting is that it is a process. You guys really have to keep in mind that people that have been doing it for years might be able to get 50 to 100 pairs, but if you spend like $200 on a bot, you're not going to be hitting 100 pairs every single drop. That's kind of a mistake that I made whenever I first got started. I saw sneaker botting something that I would be able to get into and maybe the first week I'd be hitting 5 to 10 pairs every drop, but that's just not the case. You guys are going to have to put some time into actually researching the bots, like what they do, and how to actually get the sneakers. So don't expect to get your very first sneaker bot for $100 and then start cooking immediately after that. It definitely is a journey guys, you guys are going to get better as you go on. So if you don't hit a job, don't get mad and like stop sneaker botting, just see what you guys did wrong and how you can improve for next drop. And the next thing you guys need to take into account is that it is not cheap to sneaker bot. You guys are going to need money when you get started. Personally guys, whenever I first got started I had $200 and then I put my capital up to somewhere around $1000 and I got my first sneaker bot. So if you don't have a lot of money guys, I would probably recommend you do get started going manual. Then once you have like $1000, it might be a good time to invest into a sneaker bot. So don't expect to spend $200 on like AMB V2 and be hitting every single release. Honestly guys, if you can't afford a bot that's around $500, I might suggest saving your money until you can do so. And guys, please do keep in mind you are going to need money whenever you get started. That's going to lead us into our next section which is going to be what bot is for you. So whenever you guys are first getting started, it's probably going to be very appetizing to get a bot that's somewhere around $100 or $200 just because it's going to be a pretty cheap investment. But if you guys think about it kind of like this, a car that costs you $5,000 is probably not going to be very good compared to a car that costs you $50,000. That's kind of how it is with botting guys. If you're thinking of a bot that's around $200 AMB V2 for instance versus Cyber All-in-One that's about $3,000, maybe a little bit more right now, it's pretty obvious which bot is going to be the superior bot. So you can't really expect to be hitting every single release with a bot that's $200 when there is thousands of people running $3,000 bots. I'm by no means saying you should go for a bot that's really cheap. If it is all you can afford at the time, it might be the best investment and then later on you can upgrade your bot. That's what I did guys, I started out with EVE All-in-One and then from there I built up to having two copies of CyberActive right now. If you guys are interested in a video where I go over like what bot is going to be the best for your price range, I'll leave some links down in the description below to some videos you guys can watch. So the next thing you guys need to take into account whenever you first are getting sneaker botting is what proxies you guys are going to be using. You guys, proxies are very, very important when it comes to sneaker botting because if you have a really good bot but you have shitty proxies, you're probably not going to be copying. And what kind of proxies you guys want to use are going to be dependent on what site you guys are going to be running. I have videos going over like what proxies are and like how you should be using them, so I'll leave that down in the description below. Generally for sites like Shopify, Supreme, Adidas, Yeezy Supply, and other similar sites, I'm going to be using Axis proxies myself. And as you guys have seen on stream, I've actually been doing really good with them. And if you guys are interested in checking out Axis Proxies, I'll leave a link down in the description below. You can use code UC for 25% off your first order. Also for some other providers that I use down in the description below if you guys are interested. Another thing you guys are going to need whenever you first get started sneaker botting is a good sneaker group. There are literally thousands of sneaker groups out there, some better than others. Now this video actually is sponsored by Axis 2.0. Axis 2.0 is an elite sneaker group that's helping you guys cop the latest releases. They have pretty much everything you guys would need in a sneaker group. They have lightning fast monitors, extensive release guides, early links, bot support, general support, and a bunch of other good information. Now you guys can get it today for only $30 a month. If you guys are interested, I'll leave a link down in the description below to their website so you guys can check them out. Also, I'll be in there talking to you guys. I might even sit down with a couple of you guys to talk about what bots you guys are using and help you guys get started in the game. Guys, spots are limited in the group, so if you guys are interested, I would probably check them out sooner than later because they might be sold out. Now, whenever you guys first are getting started, you're only going to be as good as the information you guys have. That's why a sneak group comes into play. They're going to be giving you guys all the information you are going to need, like what sites are dropping, what time they're dropping, what links to be using, and what variants. If you guys want to see a video completely dedicated to what a sneaker group actually is and how they function, definitely leave a comment down in the comment section below and let me know. Another thing you guys need to take into account is sneaker botting is actually getting harder. Now, as companies put more money into anti-bot systems, it actually is making it harder to get sneakers on a regular basis. And the best way I could probably describe it is actually kind of a war between sneaker bot developers and the actual companies themselves. For instance, Nike sneakers used to be a place where people would probably buy every single release and get multiple, multiple pairs. But as of right now, sneaker buying on Nike sneakers is kind of dead. 
It's because Nike has put so much time and money into actually stopping sneaker bots, it's making it very, very hard to actually bot on Nike sneakers right now. We've seen companies like Shopify try to do the same thing. They're not as successful as Nike sneakers, but they definitely are stepping it up. It is going to take some time to get familiar with your bot, learn how it works and what to do with it before you start hitting consistently on every single drop. So if you don't hit a job, don't get pissed off. Just see what you guys did wrong and how you can improve for the next release. Alright guys, that's pretty much it for this video. If you guys have anything I didn't go over, be sure to leave a comment down in the comment section below and I'll be sure to answer you guys. Follow my Twitter, my Instagram, my Snapchat, all that good stuff linked down in the description below. Like I said guys, this video is sponsored by Access 2.0 if you guys want to check them out. There'll be some slots opening up later in the Discord, so I would be sure to check them out if you have not already. Also guys, I'm thinking about making like a conference call thing where I can sit down for you guys for like 30 minutes and like we can talk about what bots you guys are using in your budget and like how to get started. If that's something you guys are interested in seeing, definitely leave a comment down in the comment section below and let me know. That's pretty much it guys. I hope you guys did enjoy. I'm a limited cop and I'm out. Yeah, I run my city without running shoes. You ain't gotta wonder who. All these rappers sound the same. Damn, there is a ton of you.